G'day there. Today we're going to have a look at this X-Tech laser distance meter and how it works, what's inside. So simply turn it on, it's got a little laser pointer just to show the um, point where you're taking the distance. Then you press measure again, takes a second, and then it gives you a, a distance um, to that. So it's got a rubbery coating on the outside. Um, it's just a plastic case, um, screen, couple buttons on top. Um, batteries in the back and then you just got the laser pointer and the actual um, measurement unit there. Let's um, have a look. Yes, yeah, so it just got two AAA batteries um, powered by that and it just seems like it's got four screws on the outside um, so we'll take them off. All right, so just a um, injection molded case, again, plastic. Um, there is a little bit of a seal all the way around. So it does have this just little, actually it's not a seal, it's just a little recess. Um, I don't think this is any water resistant ratings or dust resistant um, IP ratings. So it's just got that little, little bit of a divot on this side and a little bit of a lip on this side here. So it does kind of come over and just protect it a little bit from some dust um, coming in. Um, so this is just the front cover, so where the buttons are, quite nice click buttons, um, but a small PCB and just a little ribbon cable that connects it to the main board. So let's see what, um, what buttons it's got. Alright, so they're actually just a um, simple bit of metal, um, sort of in a, in a convex shape that sit over a contact, um, and then once they're pressed, um, they just provide a short um, on that line and then that just feeds straight back into it. There doesn't seem to be really be anything else on this board, just a couple of traces, um, wires to conduct the signal over to the other side um, and then just the actual buttons as well. And then the buttons themselves or the actual um, the, the physical thing that you press on the outside, it's just a really nice soft um, grippy rubber, um, really nice quite big buttons. Um, and then they just come through to the other side and then this little bit of rubber just again pushes onto that membrane um, to push the button. Just a little protective um, plastic there as well to protect the screen. Uh, and that, um, that just came out. So that's just a little loop. I think that just sat around this actual screw hole, um, which sort of makes sense that that's a nice strong point of the whole um, thing and it just kind of sits there on the case. All right, so now on, on this side, um, again, just the two batteries in the back, just simple two wires, uh, wires conducting the power onto the board. Um, and there's a screen, so this has come out before. So it's just loosely sitting in there um, in its own little space. All right, there's, there's a couple of screws there, which will probably hold this whole cover on. So let's undo those. So all that just pops off, just a really small little um, piece of plastic that just holds the screen on. Um, actually, I'm just going to take the screen off first before anything gets damaged there. So just a little ribbon cable again, um, connecting a, a simple um, LCD screen. And it does look like it's got a, yeah, it's got a couple of LEDs just embedded in the back here in the glass um, to act as a backlight. So it's got the screen on this side and then the white surface on, on this side here. Um, it's probably just going to be a conductive sort of translucent um, thing for the light so the light will shine through and then it just lights that screen up um, from the back and yeah again just a ribbon cable connecting that in all right so the main PCB let's see if we can take this off so it's, it's got a laser over the oh, okay this whole thing might just pop out there we go oh cool okay so there's a couple more screws. I'll take this off, but I'll see what will come out because that laser, so that'll be the actual, just a little red laser pointer. It's just soldered directly onto the board and then glued to this case. And then that case is screwed down. So I'll undo this, but it might not actually all come apart nicely. Yeah, all right. So well, exactly what I, what I thought, the um, this plastic sort of, case holding everything together 
is screwed directly to the PCB that holds the laser pointer together. Um, and then the laser pointer is actually just sold soldered straight onto the board there. So currently there's, there's a mechanical connection through that electrical contact as well that's holding all this together. Um, I'm actually just gonna put those screws back in before we look at this too much um, too, too much further, um, just so I don't actually break any of those connections there because they're quite fragile with the pins. All right, so let's actually dig into it, so what's going on. So power coming in here, um, this will be a little microcontroller um, that would just be doing the processing, the sensing. And then we've got a laser module, and then on the other side, um, I can't really see it actually, but underneath there, there's just gonna be a little photo, um, a photo transceiver, so it'll, it'll a, a light, a, an electrical component that's sensitive to light. Um, so what will happen, the way this works is the red laser just shines um, to just simply point to the point that the distance is being measured to. Um, and then within this, um, so I guess on the other side, so underneath here, um, there'll be another laser pointer, probably um, in the infrared spectrum or, or in, in a non-visible spectrum um, that just shoots out a pulse. Um, it measures the time of when it shot that pulse and then it times how long that pulse takes, bounces off the surface comes back and then reads it. So the module will, will time how long it takes for that pulse to go and come back. Um, and that's why that's how it measures distance. So, so through time of flight, um, obviously it knows the speed of light. It's quite constant in a um, in an air environment. Um, and then it just times it, how long it takes for it to come back. Um, and that's how it figures out the distance there. So again, just the red laser pointer there, a little bit of control there. There seems to be an oscillator there, crystal oscillator. There's another one here. Um, this would have to work on a specific frequency to know to be able to time it. Um, it is quite precise timing measurements. The speed of light is very fast, so it all has to happen pretty quickly. Um, and then just a couple of other there's little capacitors there, um, little regulators, um, just to sort of filter that, that um, voltage and provide a really stable supply of voltage. Um, there is also a little microphone here. Um, so I think that's just, it just makes a beep once it's taken the measurement, um, just as a little audible. Um, sound. That's pretty much it. It's actually quite a simple, simple component. All, all solid state stuff, no actual moving parts. Um, so it should last quite a while. Um, and then again, just mounted down to the case. It's got nice reinforcement here to hold that case together, um, to hold sort of this, this together. And this seems to be, this is a plastic, but it, it does have um, fiber reinforcement in this. So probably glass fiber reinforced um, to provide a really sturdy case. And also that's pretty good for thermal, um, um, it doesn't expand much, um, expand or contract um, with the change of the temperature. That glass fiber will just hold it together. Um, you want a really sturdy, you don't want these distances here to change by much or the focus to, to be changed out of it. All right, awesome, that's it. That's um, that's what's inside a, um, a laser distance um, laser distance meter. Um, that's how it works. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you did learn anything or like it, please do leave a like. Um, and if you wanna see more stuff like this, um, then subscribe. So thanks very much.